All right, so it's another Amazon unboxing. And this box is really heavy. Oh my goodness. When I tried to pick it up, it was like I was struggling. I was struggling to bring it in the house. All right, let's check it out. Oh my goodness, this is enormous. What could it be? And it's a steel tongue drum. And I'm so excited. It's by Beat Rise. I wanted this Beat Rise drum so bad. Um, this is my first 13-inch drum. Now, I have a few in my collection. This is a 13-inch, 15-note drum. Let's get it open. Holy moly. <laughs> Look at the size of this drum. Look at that. Compared to my seat, that is enormous. And we got the Beat Rise logo. So it says Beat Rise Music. Very nice bag. Look at that bag. All right. Lift this ginormous drum. I'm not kidding you. It's really heavy. We have some accessories inside. All right, let's check them out. Before I show, the, uh, show you the accessories, look at this bag. Now, this is the back of the bag, and it's actually a backpack. And also, it has a handle on the top as well. We also have uh, this compartment over here. You can place the mallets right in there. And again, I'm going to flip this around and show you in relative size how big this drum is uh, compared to my chair. <laughs> so that is enormous, an enormous drum. Oh, my goodness. So it comes with the accessories and this really nice drawstring velvet bag. And let's open it up. And, okay, so the mallets are in here. And it also comes with extra rubber tips. And these ones are oval shaped. I don't know if you can see that um, compared to the more rounded. That's actually really cool. So you could just actually pull the rubber tip off and replace it with this oval shaped mallet uh, tip. That's actually great. All right. So let's put that down and let's see what else is in the bag. I'm just making sure there's nothing else in there. Okay, we're free. There we go. Oh, cool. All right, so it comes with rubber finger picks. I don't know if you could see that. So you can place these on the tips of your finger to play the drum without the mallets. It also comes with the mallet stand, which uh, you can rest the mallets on. We got um, information about a uh, steel tongue drum and uh, tells you all sorts of stuff about it. There we go, has specifications. So we also have extra notes. Um, so these stickers uh, actually come in handy. So you have the numbers, very, very cool. And we have a steel tongue drum instruction booklet and music book. So we have lots of different songs in here. And uh, you don't need to know musical notes in order to play this drum. You see the numbers? The drum will have numbers on it, so you don't need to know. Now, uh, the great thing about steel tongue drums is you don't have to be a musician to play. So look at all these songs in here. It also tells you how to tune it. Um, it tells you how to play it. So here's uh, all the instructions. All right, now the moment I've been waiting for. Um, the opening of the steel tongue drum. All right, so I'm just gonna unzip it and I ordered it in navy blue or some kind of blue color. They had different colors for sale as well. And it is absolutely stunning. Look at the size of this um, compared to my hand. You can see this is a very, very large drum. Let's flip it over. Actually take it out first. And let me just move the bag. And look at that. That is just beautiful. We'll flip it over. And we have the plug. It's in the D key. You can see the D. And uh, it has little rubber feet on it. And has these pretty little fringe um, decorations that hang down the side of the drum. And we have like a macrame going around the drum. So let's play it. So as you can see, I have a little bit of a collection of steel tongue drums. Some of them aren't very good quality. Um, and I wasn't, you know, too thrilled with them. 
And then I saw the beat rise and I said, wow, this looks like a really good quality drum. Now I have another dish style drum over here that's a 14 inch. And I'll be honest with you, I am not very happy with it. Um, the sounds are very flat. And uh, so when I saw this one, I said, I got to definitely, definitely try this one out. Now, um, this one is just absolutely beautiful. Look at that uh, workmanship on it. Let's hear how it sounds. Now we'll try different ways to listen to it. Now it does have the mallets and the mallets, let's just go around a second. The mallets have these other rubber pieces with it. So we'll try um, the mallets like this and then we'll add these little ends on the uh, tips of the mallets as well and hear how it changed the changes the sound. Now there is a plug, you saw the rubber plug on the bottom of the drum and uh, taking it off makes it um, resonate more, like the vibrations will be louder. Keeping it on actually muffles the sound a little and makes it less, you know, uh, less vibrant, less loud. So it'll be uh, more of a flat sound. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the rubber piece off first when we play, and then I'll replace the rubber piece and put it back in, and we'll hear the different sounds it makes. So before using the mallets that it came with, I'm going to show you, I have a mallet collection. Now, I mean, if you have a steel tongue drum collection, you definitely need a mallet collection. And uh, so I have all different shapes um, and sizes and lengths, as you can see here. And so we're going to first try, um, I got these for like $8.99 on Amazon. These are much longer, as you can see, and uh, they have three quarter inch rubber tips. All right, so I don't play, so I'm just going to randomly hit some keys and uh you know i don't know how to play songs i could um it would probably take me 10 minutes to go through that song book not even and play songs but i just feel like messing around so here's uh the bigger mallets and uh what happens is is it changes the sound of the drum so uh, again i recommend buying all different kinds of mallets if you have a nice big steel tongue drum like this actually place the oval tips on the other end of the mallet so now um I have two sides so uh I can just you know I could just decide which side I want to use I took out the rubber the little rubber piece or the stopper and let's hear how it sounds now I don't play professionally and that's the beauty of this you don't have to know how to play songs just by hitting the tongues each tongue makes a beautiful sound so um whether you want to meditate relax or you have anxiety and you just want to uh, bring down your stress levels, these drums are great for you. Okay, so first we're going to try with the oval tip. And I'm just going to hit each tongue separately. There are 15 tongues. And uh, yeah, generally when you hit the uh, tongue, you want to hit it right around here. So this is like the, the special spot. Um, okay, so let's go. Okay, I could feel the vibration going through my body. That's great. Okay, now we're going to try it um, by flipping it around and using the rounded edges.
great either uh, way. So that's uh, wonderful. All right, let's put the plug in and listen to it now. All right, so this may actually uh, make it uh, less vibrational. So let's try it. sure which way I like it better but I will show you one thing the red dish drum that I have that's next to it I wasn't happy with I'll let you hear why listen how flat it is so I'm not really liking these flat sounds it's not as loud as I'd like it to be and so this one is actually way better. I'm gonna take the plug out and we'll just like keep hitting some keys randomly and try to play, you know, something. It's like a made up song. Here we go. And that's the great thing about these. Kids can even play these. Um, and you can just make up songs as you go along. drum in person is a hundred times louder than my cell phone that's filming it can uh, portray now here's another thing you can do you see how we have the plug off you can also tune the keys um, by like if they get pressed in or pushed in um, each tongue you can actually the hole will enable you to stick a stick in there and to actually push the tongues um, so if it uh, happens to get bent, which most likely it won't because this is a very thick alloy steel drum, um, you can do that too. So here we have the plug back on and I'll flip it over and it's very heavy. And uh, But that backpack is high quality and it'll actually be very easy to transport this drum if you're going somewhere. I'm going to use the uh, oval tips and again, we'll just randomly just play some tunes and here we go. recommend this drum this drum is just absolutely beautiful it is a gorgeous gorgeous drum 
Um, I'm telling you right now, uh, this is uh, really amazing me with the quality. And I told you, I have lots of steel tongue drums, and this one is oozing with quality. It's made very well. You can also see the beautiful design. It's almost, it has like an iridescent looking pattern on it. Um, it's a great color. It matches everything. It looks really nice too as decor. And uh, it comes with a lot of accessories and that high quality bag. So I'd say go for it. I'm going to put a link in the description below. Thanks for watching and take care.